What is poppin' everybody? I am back again with another video. Today I'll be going Emil Blansky, the Russian being, the gamma being that has been fighting the Hulk for ever, basically. And you probably recognize him from the Hulk movie from 2008, the live action movie, but except he didn't look like this. I like his fish ears better here. I wish they would have kept it original, but the movies wanted to make stuff different, obviously. But how strong is the abomination? Being a Hulk villain, obviously he pretty much scales to the Hulk in every almost every aspect of way. Other than the feats of the Hulk getting super crazy angry, of course, because he does not have a strength increase factor like him. Information about Abomination from various guidebooks. Pause the video if you need to look at these more. Another example and information about him in the guidebooks. Pause it if you want to look at this longer. More guidebooks telling about Abomination. To help you get an understanding of how powerful he is, pause it if you want to watch this even longer or read all of this. Another one, pause it if you want to see the rest. Have a good time reading all of this. Pause it if necessary. Then the last issue of the guidebook. Have a good time reading this while you pause the video if you want to read all of this. Get an idea of why Marvel has him or what the writer intent is. So it's pretty clear on his writer intent. Even on all of the different guidebooks, it all pretty much ranks him the same when it comes to raw strength. Which makes sense since, you know, his foe is the Hulk. Let's get right into it. Naturally, being a Hulk foe, he's fought the Hulk a lot of times. Him and the Hulk's blows shake the surrounding mountains. During his many battles with Hulk, in this one particular encounter, slug it out. To the point where they quote unquote stay, he nearly kills him. Take that as you wish. There's a time he was able to really harm the Silver Surfer with his blows. If I'm not mistaken, Silver Surfer could have possibly been weakened, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't weakened. I mean, the Hulk can hurt Silver Surfer, so why shouldn't Abomination be able to? So yeah, he was pretty crazy, especially back in the older days. His blows can create so much shockwave. He can send people and even tanks in the air with the raw power he can produce. One of the weakest Hulk personalities, which is still not weak considering he's still a planet buster, but it just shows that Abomination is meant to fight the real Hulk, the Green Hulk at the very least, because he was actually able to pretty much outmatch Grey Hulk, showing that yeah, he can definitely compete with a planet buster for sure, because Grey Hulk definitely is a planet buster based on the asteroid two times the size of Earth feed I've shown you before in my page. Able to get an actual legit KO on Grey Hulk, actual real KO, impressive. Was able to overpower She-Hulk, She-Hulk is not in their league. Made her actually lose conscious for a few seconds. There was another occasion of him pretty much pummeling the Hulk. Hulk and Abomination have had some pretty decent battles in the past to the point where they pretty much stalemate at times, even pretty much, pretty much possibly knocking each other out. Hulk and Abomination's blows measures a 3.7 on the richest scale. He's actually able to fight on par with characters like Wonder Man, another powerhouse that's underrated. He had this fight with Wonder Man. I've shown this before in previous videos. Wonder Man, I've told you before, is one of those powerhouses that's underrated. He able to give Thor a battle in a war. He was actually able to give Wonder Man a black eye. Even though I will admit he did lose this fight, though, in a war, though. I gotta admit, one of his greater feats is the time he actually two-shot knocked out Namor, another underrated powerhouse. Somebody that is highly slept on in the community. Don't sleep on Namor. He is nobody to be slept on. He's even fought Daniel Ketch Ghost Rider. Just knocked him on his butt for a second. More occasions of him slugging it out with the Hulk. Yet another occasion of him fighting on par with Hulk and even making the Hulk scream right here. Okay guys, you gotta get the point by now. He's had a lot of fights with Hulk and he's able to slug it out with him consistently. He's The writer intent is pretty clear that they want him to be on the Hulk level of strength. Another occasion of him fighting the Hulk. Yet another occasion of him fighting the Hulk. Yet again, making him bleed in the process. Oh, what do you know? Another occasion of him fighting the Hulk. In this particular case, he fought the Hulk and they destroyed a building in the process. Okay, I don't want this to get repetitive, but yet another occasion of him fighting the Hulk. Smashes huge stone pillars, something light work for a gamma being. Something that a Hulk should actually be able to do. Remember that time he was actually able to throw an actual building? That was the time he was able to punch Nemo from the seabed all the way into the air out of the water. Another occasion of him actually lifting an entire building. Dang, this girl looks good in this comic. There's this time Nate Gray even complimented on him on his speed. Yeah, Nate Gray, star level being, by the way. There's no surprise he can jump, and he can jump pretty quick to jump the helicopters. He travels four miles in nine leaps. He leaps from New York to the Atlantic seaboard. Kind of blitzes a silver surfer. He's fast enough to take a human's gun away from him before they even notice. This just be light work for somebody on his level. There's a time Iceman tried to freeze Abomination, and he broke out. It's funny that missiles that shatter the entire desert only wake him up out of his sleep. Oh, there's a time he actually fought Spider-Man. Spider-Man even comments and says, I think I made him blink like it didn't really do nothing much. Making him blink after all that. And of course, he's bulletproof. Shield rifles don't do nothing to him. He's able to tank being hit by Bazooka. No shocker there. Another occasion of him being completely bulletproof, obviously. Oh, did I mention? Oh, I know I'm sure I mentioned this earlier, but he fought Daniel Ketch Ghost Rider and was able to take blast from him. Please know that no Ghost Rider is lightweight. He stated that, a Ghost Rider's punch only stung a little? Ghost Rider? A Ghost Rider's punch? 
Like, I'm gonna let that sink in. A Ghost Rider's punch stung a little to him. He was able to take a blast from Cyclops. Abomination is one of those characters, like most characters that are not the main character. He doesn't have that many flashy feats. Like, we're not gonna see Abomination bust no planet. We probably won't even see him level a country, but does that mean he's not on those levels? I mean, it's pretty clear that the writers intended for him to be Hulk level. So we're not gonna say, it wouldn't be fair to say the Hulk is star level or solar system level and Abomination is city level because we only seen him, we ain't ever seen him bust the city or something. Wouldn't that, you see how messed up that sounds? That doesn't sound really fair. We know he matches him in strength even in his calm state i mean come on he's stronger than calm savage hulk and we know even calm savage hulk is more than likely above gray hulk still and we've seen what gray hulk done and if you don't know what gray hulk can do go ahead and check out my videos on my page about gray hulk in the how strong series but just for those that are sure, still unsure about how strong Abomination was, especially in his classic days, let me show you at least one scan of every single encounter they've ever had. I'm going to show you different fights in every single occasion they fought. They fought over 15 times, and I'm going to show you every single one. They fought in this occasion where he got the W, and I've shown this earlier. This is actually another comic, but the same continuation of the previous fight. Yet again, another issue of them fighting again. Completely different comic issue where they fight again. This is not even necessarily old school either. Showing that the gap isn't still, isn't that wide even in the newer days somewhat. Still able to fight him pretty good, even back in these days. And it's a war too. It ain't just no three shots, five shots. The environment is even crumbling while they fight. Boom. This one, it seems like they stalemated each other though. Another occasion of them fighting. Boom, 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 boom. Hope you guys are not getting sick of this. Another occasion of them fighting. Both seem to be stalemating each other, giving each other a war. Pretty much able to harm consistently. Showing they'd be able to match his power consistently. Boom, 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 boom. Finally, another battle of him fighting Hulk, but different state. Like Professor Hulk, one that has a higher base state. Showing that Abomination can still hang in there with him, but, you know, he got handled right here at this second. Yet another occasion of him fighting Hulk. Every single Hulk encounter, by the way. Hope this isn't getting old to you guys. I know I've said that a million times, but don't judge me. Trying to keep it entertaining without dialogue. Boom, 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 boom. Another occasion of Hulk fighting Abomination. The art is getting a little better, meaning that he's getting closer to the time we live in now. Still fights him and it's a tough fight. Consistently shown over and over again. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. Consistency. If you guys notice the pattern though, fighting the Hulk in his base anger levels is still impressive. Which Abomination is shown to be able to do consistently. But when the Hulk gets to those crazy anger levels, that's when he starts to get overmatched by the Hulk in a crazy way consistently but Abomination still can hang in there don't sleep on neither of these gamma power being I'm starting to believe that She-Hulk feat of her knocking out Abomination might have been plot induced stupidity more stuff of Abomination in the recent issue during the Chaos War this is during that Hulk vs Zeus madness time you can even tell by the art style gamma baby a more recent comic as well still being able to fight Hulk I don't see how this dude is under underrated fight some Avengers on some Team Buster stuff, poor Captain America, Iron Man tried, but now Hulk's back. Punches Hulk still, still able to hang in there with the powerhouses after fighting some of the Hulk for a little while, then fighting teammates of the Avengers for a little while. Has Hulk dripping by the mouth, but Hulk looks pissed. Looks like this is where it ends. All oh, shoot. Oh, Abomination messed up. But he, hanging, he hung in there for a little while though, even with the Avengers helping. But wow, Abomination is still hanging in there, even with the strength increase factor, even with people blasting them from every direction. Abomination went straight up berserk here. Probably one of his coolest showings ever. Please don't sleep on Abomination, guys. It took all of this. Come on, y'all. Don't sleep on Abomination. I'm not one to make excuses, but based on the feat I just showed you, I honestly think this might be PIS. This could possibly plot induced stupidity. She-Hulk is not as strong as the Hulk. Not even close. I don't know what this writer is thinking. Having She-Hulk knock him out. Now, it would be different if She-Hulk was able to do this in her current buff, huge amped state that would make more sense but during these days she hulk wasn't that strong i mean she was strong i even made a video about her but abomination after what we just seen all them battles with hulk she's even admitted a million times she's nowhere near the hulk and she can't be hulk i mean hey look at their past history with she hulk and abomination as you can see here she hulk and spider-man try to fight abomination together they had to pretty much trick him and get into on a boat and pretty much battlefield removing him it's weird in chaos where he was able to emit green flames uh, does he have his own world breaker state if he absorbs gamma? Uh, weird theories. During the indestructible run, this statement was said. This is probably his most absurd feat. Not only was he stated that he was stronger than indestructible Hulk at that time, which I don't know if it's true or not, but 
they might be talking about his calm state or something, but he even in that fight when he was fighting the Hulk for a long time and even pretty much got a temporary W, he was fighting the Avengers Iron Man suit with Captain Marvel, even taking a punch from her. The radiation he spews out, killing people for miles, by the way, stated by Iron Man himself, has consistently shown to be able to use skills like choke holds and even do full Nelsons on Hulk based on his military training background. I honestly think there's like a myth about Abomination being inconsistent, which is why he gets... He doesn't really seem that inconsistent. He has limitations, sure. Like he's taken L's from characters like Silver Server. He's been defeated by the Hulk himself. But there was a lot of times where he stalemated the Hulk, you know, had the edge over the Hulk or lost to the Hulk. But it was like some of the losses he took to the Hulk wasn't like one-sided. Like he has had some noticeable losses. Like I will admit a couple times with PIS, like maybe the times fighting Rhino being knocked unconscious, the time where she was able to knock him out even though she wasn't like Powered up like she is currently. The powered up she hope doing that now would make more sense. But even then, it shouldn't be easy. He's pretty consistently shown to be on Savage Hulk's level. And even being able to knock out Grey Hulk temporarily. But of course, Grey Hulk has a strength increase factor. Just like Green Hulk has a strength increase factor. And that's where they get the edge over him and things like that. It's even kind of implied he might have a world breaker state. But this was never expanded upon because it was in the Chaos War. He was emitting green flames. I mean, who knows? I mean... I mean, he is a Gamma member. I can't say it's impossible considering what we've seen Gamma members do. Heck, we've even seen Red She-Hulk have a Gamma form or a world breaker state when she started glowing red. I mean, just who knows the limitations. The only downside is him is that he does have some pretty clear restraining moments. Like he has consistent times of him fighting cl classic Savage Hulk the most, but we all know over the years the Hulk has gotten base form buffs. Like, I wouldn't say, I don't even currently know if he would be considered a current base Hulk level strength at the moment due to all the amps and stuff that's happened over the years for Hulk, but definitely Classic Savage Hulk was still a major threat. Same with Thor, but there's been times when he's been overpowered by Thor, overpowered by Hulk, you know, as, you know, Hulk gets stronger, he gets, you know, dragged out fight, he loses the Hulk, stuff like that, but he should not be underestimated. I would still consider him strong in characters like Captain Marvel and She-Hulk consistently base She-Hulk, not the new amp She-Hulk, like base Captain Marvel before, I'm pretty sure they're going to try to amp her for the movies or whatever, but before all that, she, I would say he's above characters like Colossus strength-wise. But what do you guys think? Did you like my little rundown of Abomination? Do you think he deserves more flashy feats? Do you, did you already respect him due to scaling to Hulk? Do you already knew he was strong because if anybody that can fight Hulk this many times should be strong? Did you already know that? Did, did you guys know he had this many fights with the Hulk where he gave him a war or run for the money or where he fought the entire Avengers? Did you guys know all of that? Make sure you post all those comments below. I want to hear your thoughts on Abomination originally. And has your opinion changed about Abomination? Do you think the movies could have did more with him because he pretty much vanished off the face of the earth after the first Avengers or the after the first Hulk movie in 2008? Let me know. Post some comments down below. Let me know what you all think.